Hey everybody, jmaco 516 here, back with another video. This time is on my third LEGO Transformers figure. Um, again, this one has no name, just like the other ones. Um, but this is the Cybertronian mode. And, uh, looks pretty good. You know, of course, mostly with the same uh, color scheme as the black, red, and a little bit of gray. And, uh, this one is a little different than the last two. Like I said, this is the Cybertronian mode. You'll notice underneath it's got, uh, four wheels. These are courtesy of the, uh, Creo Optimus Prime, the little 799 figure that I got. And, uh, also you can see he's got this nice gun back here. It does rotate, but the... Uh, joint on it's kind of weird and it pops off the way it's connected so I'm not gonna show that um, but here you got the front of it you got this nice bumper these two little headlights and uh, these would be like the front uh, windshield move around to the back you can see the wheels underneath there and then the two tail lights and the little thruster is back here and uh, just these little side I guess those could be like boosters. Looks pretty cool. Rolls pretty nicely. Also, uh, one other mode this that does these little fins pop out, and uh, it does have a little bitty type of like a flight mode. But anyway, uh, when things aren't popping off. Now I will take it into um, its robot mode. What's the only thing that does pop off is this, well, these back two pieces. Connect that back onto there. And this, straighten that out, fold these down, is a little headmaster. Not much of a figure. Low articulation here in the arms. The legs do move again on this part, but I have this uh, other piece here for support and also for connection in the uh, Cybertron, Cybertronian mode, so not much to him. Pretty simple. Uh, we'll set him off to the side. And now we'll take this into the robot mode. Which, in order to do that, you just take everything, and pull this up, and grab here at the waist, bend that. Let me. Guy's pretty tall. You fold these in, and that piece just popped off for no dang reason. Put that back on. These are the arms, which just split and then rotate there. That one's popping off again. You go up even higher now. And you take your little headmaster here, just fold these up, and that becomes the head. Very simple. And then you just take this whole thing. And just pop it right back onto there. Now you can see him with his head. Also, you can keep these like this, kind of give them like a wheelie type of head from the um, Revenge of the Fallen. I like to just keep them folded up like that. For articulation, he does bend up the shoulder and then uh, bend at the elbow here. A little waist arch. When parts are popping off, I want to try and keep this video not too long, but these things keep popping off. It may take a little longer than expected. But uh, the legs do go in and out here at the thigh, uh, up and down joint there, and then. Uh, at the knee, they do bend. 
also, if you notice here, the uh, real type chest, and it does have the little light thing. Here's the the crotch plate. Very simple, just like these two real type pieces there on the side. He's got the nice wheels on his legs. Nice little look at the foot there. Very simple. And he's got the wheel there on the upper thigh and down here closer to the ankle. All these wheels do spin. Like I said, those are courtesy of the Optimus Prime figure. And he's pretty cool. Very tall figure. Sometimes he is a little tricky to stand. Other times, not too bad. Here we will take him next to Energon Prowl for a little size comparison. He's like almost twice the size. Pretty big for you. Probably be a Voyager class. Get him out of the way. But now, here's a little secret about this guy. Not only does he have the Cybertronian mode and the robot mode, he also has an Earth mode. So we'll pop that part off get this piece back on. Set the little headmaster away off to the side there. In, or, uh, in order to get him into his earth mode, just flip these up. We'll take these, rotate them around, like so. Pinch them together to where they're pretty flat. They don't have to be perfect, but I try to get them as close as I can. Now, like I said, when that's not popping off, take the legs and fold them inward. This is always popping off. You drop the camera down a little. this guy. Squeeze the legs together. You take this whole front piece here and just fold it back. Trying to keep everything connected. Now, well, it helps if we straighten that part out there. Darn arms always pop off. I need more Lego parts, basically. But, anyway. Scrunch this part down up front here. Then you take these two parts where the hands were, bend at the elbow. And, uh, try and keep them straight. Now... Take these and uh, push them onto there. Sorry if I was off camera on that one. But anyway, that onto there. Sometimes these little things do tend to pop off. Put that right back on, push those to the side. Crunch everything together. Sometimes he does lean a little crooked, but rolls pretty good. But now, don't forget, there's the little target master or the headmaster. Sorry. Take this. Just pop it on right there, and now you have it's fire engine mode got the nice grill up front, two headlights, uh, the driver uh, windshield, the nice weapon there on top, the little water gun squirter type of thing, kind of, you know, I wasn't meaning to make this guy like how he came out, really, but uh, in a way, when parts aren't popping off, like I said, he kind of 
Looks like Sentinel Prime a little bit. Originally, oh, I put that leg on the right side. Originally, I was kind of going for like a, a semi look, kind of almost Optimus Primey, but you know, not quite. But I came up with this, uh, the Cybertron mode, I kind of just stumbled upon accidentally. And I figured it looked pretty cool. So, he is a triple changer. And also, technically, if you wanted, he could be a quadruple changer. If you just flip these around, and now he almost looks like, if he didn't have these big wheels down there, he'd almost look like a spaceship. Because this uh, back bumper piece almost works as a front as it does for like the Cybertronian mode. It can now be a mo uh, front of the vehicle mode for when he is in his Earth mode. Also, here on the top, the grill that you saw on his uh, chest plate is now a ladder on the top of the fire truck type of mode. Anyway, let me know what you guys think. I know I ran this video probably really much longer than it needed to be. That's mostly due to the breakage that he constantly has. But, you know, also, uh, the front, or through the side, there is kind of a gap there, which I do hate, but it's kind of unavoidable. But, just looking at him like this, or, you know, from the front, he looks pretty cool. Especially, you know, you take this little headmaster, put that right back up there. You look at all the cool features of this guy, and you don't even realize that 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 those gaps are there. So he is a little loose. Like I said, you can peg these together, but sometimes it does throw the alignment off of the tires. So anyway, let me know what you guys think. JMACO516, like I said, still no name on this guy. But anyway, another video. Thanks for watching, comments, welcome, and all that. JMACO516 here. Signing out.